Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, we're going to look at how to combine forces. So let's get started. Here it says you may be asked to find the resultant force vector when adding two force vectors in one dimension or at right angles. So in one dimension, this is the simplest one, where if forces act in the same direction, we want to add them together. But if forces act in opposite directions, then we want to subtract the smaller force from the larger force. And that will give us a resultant force or an overall force. And we'll just do a quick exercise to help you understand this. So if you ignore all this text and just look at the boxes down the bottom, we've got a wee exercise we can do. So we've got two boxes, balanced and unbalanced, and we're going to decide which box these things should go in. For this object, we've got two newtons to the left, two newtons to the right. So if we were to combine the forces there, they're going to cancel each other out to give us a resultant force of zero newtons. So this is balanced forces. We then have three newtons to the left, two newtons to the right, which is speeding up. So this gives us a resultant force of one newton to the left, which I can then put in unbalanced. We also have something that's slowing down, one newton to the left, two newtons to the right. So this time we have a resultant force of one newton to the right. We're taking the one away from the two to get the one newton to the right. So that's going in unbalanced. We then have one newton up this way, one newton down this way. So they cancel each other out to give us an unbalanced force of zero newtons. So that is balanced there. We then have eight newtons that way, eight newtons that way. Again, balanced forces, a resultant force of zero newtons. So again, two newtons up, two newtons down. They'll cancel each other out to give a resultant force of zero newtons. So that can go over there. We then have five newtons up, five newtons down. Again, that's going to be balanced forces. And lastly, we have two newtons to the left, two newtons to the right but two newtons up the way. So these two horizontal forces will cancel each other out. However, we're left with a resultant force of two newtons up the way. So let's put that in unbalanced over there. And now a quick check just to see if we're right. It says, well done, zero of the diagrams are incorrectly placed. So jumping back to the notes now, you can see we've used this idea of combining forces in one dimension, where we've mostly just used the idea that when the forces act in opposite directions, we subtract the smaller from the larger force. Now, it also says to remember that there are two methods to find the resultant vector when adding two vectors at right angles. So it's not always going to be as easy as forces in one dimension. So the way we add two force vectors at right angles, remember, is we can use the scale diagram method or the calculation method. And lastly, since force is a vector, you must state the final resultant force with both a magnitude and a direction, just like we did for resultant displacement and velocity. So if you can't remember how to do the scale diagram or the calculation method to add two vectors together at right angles, make sure you check out my previous theory videos called the scale diagram method and the calculation method, which are examples showing you specifically how to find resultant displacement, but you do the exact same thing to find resultant force. That's all for this video, folks. Thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video one of these, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.